confidence in the face of the public so that they do not lose faith in the negotiating process to go in and represent the people knowing that you already being investigated and that that alone is a bad faith effort entering into the contract negotiations you supposed to step down and they didn't and they didn't so I'm done with my invites so at this point we wonder well what do we do well it's all laid out now attached to the notes of this video is the references from prior videos I did and probably a couple of posts that give him information there is a blueprint layout that was issued that uh, can be found in the um, International Labor Review website about how the process worked. So he'll see the tree. My public notice to IUAW to cease and desist and the request for oversight from the um, International Labor Review Board um, has them waiting on the worker to then do the follow-up. The public notice process is um, to inform the workers that are similarly situated of the dirt that's being done and that they need to take action to in order to protect their own interests. I ain't in the fighting for a motherfucker that's not going to fight for themselves. So at this point, from my prior efforts in reaching them, they are not interested in um, obtaining what they should as a worker. For one, they don't even know the value of their labor, so they don't know what they should be getting. Now, in addressing that aspect, I did a survey that gave clues as to what you should be asking for. If you're not asking for those things, you're not coming into the contract negotiations trying to get anything of substance for yourself you're not trying to secure your family's future you're just trying to be a go along to get along slave that's fine if that's what you want to do but being who i am i have to give the people the opportunity to address their own issues and then at some point later on down the line i can step in and give them the help they need but if you ain't going to fight for yourself, there's no fucking way. Oh, oh, no way. I'm putting my neck on the line for a motherfucker not going to put, not going to do the minimum effort to protect their own interests. Not me. Fuck that shit got me twisted. I'm no longer auto worker, so I don't have to fight for the future of auto workers. But I know who is an auto worker, Brian Keller. And I know who do got the passion to protect the interests of the people, strong as Hoffa, that stand at the guardian at the gate and not taking that bullshit, and that's Brian Keller. So at this point in the video, I'm going to slow down again now, y'all. Just, just like y'all type hello and all that, just type Brian Keller in so he get a whole bunch of notifications to look at this information. Then he'd be able to contact me directly if need be, and I'd be able to walk you through what the fuck they did, what the fuck they doing, what's the end run around it. <clears throat> um, I send him the trillion dollar buyback program because he don't, the worker don't understand that they have a very powerful human force behind them as workers, and they have a very powerful spiritual force behind them as workers. At the closing of the age, the number one grievance, the closing of the age of all people or all walks of life was workers' suffrage. That's the number one grievance globally. It is the largest grievance that the world have. Um, how y'all doing? I don't, I don't want to stop and break my train of thought. I want to get this information out because I got my battery on low charge so I don't make this an extra long video. But um, if y'all can, just type Brian Keller in the comment. That's it. And it'll tag him to the video. I want a whole bunch of tags to him to this video. If y'all watching, just do that. Whenever y'all hear me say it, just put his name in there. And we get enough tags, he can get the information. And then 
this is what I'm this is the part that you need to know right here. The next step is to inform your local, Brian, that the contract not valid because another worker that put them on public notice, international public notice, to cease and desist representing us while they were under investigation, entering into contract negotiations in bad faith. Just deal with your local first, only your local. They can, you can explain it to them because you understand what I'm talking about and you have the bridging connection to the people to help them understand what I'm talking about. So, then once you get your local to understand that they entered into the negotiation in bad faith, negotiated the contract knowing indictments were coming, consciously and fully aware, it rendered the contract a fraudulent contract on behalf of international, betraying the trust of the worker, betraying the um, trust of the worker in the process for the contract negotiations, right? So now that they've done that, the worker has been irreparably damaged by the actions of international being fully informed and fully aware that another worker told them to not enter into the negotiations on behalf of the worker while you're under investigation because you already know at your rank position and years of service that that is entering the contract negotiation in bad faith. The action is at that point have your local just deal with your local first. And once your local is done with this process, pass the ball to the next solid motherfucker at the next local where you know he's solid. One shores is on board with you. Go to the next one. By that time, it's starting to take a domino effect throughout the rank and file that you was crossed out as a worker. You had fighters on your team that was silenced by the system, silenced by international, and the companies were told to follow the process until the worker responds according to the process. Once the workers start to do the local votes, now that the worker is beginning to understand what took place, they can protect their interest. Right. Once you get two or three locals, you then have your president and your chairman hounding IL review, International Labor Review Board, to investigate them for even the ones who didn't say nothing to the ones that they the ones that's clean. That it's only one came back that's clean and she been pitching the fucking bitch this whole time. And that's Cindy Estrada, Brian. She been down there raising fucking hell. Mary Barra has been raising hell on the corporate side about the same exact fucking shit. The disadvantages in the workplaces of women for women and the corporate greed that undermines the um, the productivity of the worker. But they can only go so far as women in a patriarchal society. The women are making this move for power, Brian. You have their support or I would not be making this fucking video. The women backing you to run this motherfucking touchdown. So, once again, y'all watching this video, put Brian Keller's name in the comments so he can understand what's taking place. Now, start making connections in your local, organizing your, get the imposters out. How are you going to know them? They going to pitch a fucking fit when you mention this shit. 
they going to tell you you crazy. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. But all of the documentation is available. It's a process. The first step is always the public notice. That secures the interest of the worker until I can get this information to Brian Keller. Now that he gets the information, he run the fucking touchdown. You see, it's more than one way to skin a cat. And it's more than one way to bust a gat. And it's more than one way to beat these corporate motherfuckers at their own game. We have people of varying spiritual ranks and physical earth realm rankings that's on board with cleaning up this corrupt bullshit. And I had to go through other things that sidetracked me from dealing with this issue head on full throttle. So... Brian, on the other hand, is consistent. He's determined. He's a strong voice. He's respected. We can't ask for nothing fucking more than that in the person to run this fucking touchdown. So, if you um in any kind of workers group, this is an issue that affects all workers. It affects all workers because the as the way of the UAW go in this country since they have existed is the way of all other workers. It's a domino effect. If the auto workers can be justly compensated, they don't even fucking know what to ask for because they've been running off of being dictated to behind the scenes by patriarchal, greedy-ass, corporate-type motherfuckers that want to kick everybody out they motherfucking boys club. My sisters is taking this shit over because we didn't seen enough of the fuckery. Right? Metaphysically speaking, this might not be in your interest, brand, but I got to go touch this level. Metaphysically speaking, when you see this many women making a move across all ethnic boundaries on the same page on this planet. All motherfuckers that ain't on board with the motherfucking effort need to get out the way because behind them, metaphysically speaking, comes a tailwind of power. Those who are not in tune and who think that this woman's movement is some patriarchal dominated women's live propaganda. This is not the same metaphysically. The energy is going to shift. A lot of motherfuckers not going to be here because they're not going to be able to make the shift with the energy. Don't worry about it. Keep it moving. Live your life. The goal is to create a condition where everybody have an equal opportunity to live their best fucking life on this planet. That's the goal. Might not happen. Utopia might not never come. But guess what? If one motherfucker got a utopia out of a thousand, we have made a significant change. But the energy that follow these women if you're not right, that's going to fuck you up. It's a massive change. It's like a tidal wave of energy that's about to sweep over all of us in the next couple of days. We call it catching the Holy Ghost in the hood. You know, when mama take us to the Baptist church where they jump around and shout. Some of these women that have been broken going to be the strongest motherfucker you ever seen. Because they got practice at being broken and all those broken places is going to make them stronger than ever before. Be thankful for your suffering at this time. That shit about to pay off. That shit about to pay the fuck off. Be thankful for your suffering at this time because that shit about to pay off. Mama about to let y'all cash in on dividends.
I raised hell all night about my motherfucking queens being compensated for their shit. Well, I work one. I already got the first report because I was a hands-on participant by mama's order to be sure that I know I don't got to fuck nobody up and I don't have to rain a goddamn meteor shower in one motherfucker's window to make sure that he the only motherfucker get hit with 999,000 meteors. Out of everybody in this neighborhood, it's going to hit one motherfucking house, one fucking room. 999 consecutive media. So she told me I don't have to do that now. She put me hands on, physically involved in participating in restoring one of the queens to let me know. That's her way of telling me it's on the roll. It's, it's coming. It's manifesting. Sit your motherfucking ass down. So I'm sitting down now. I'm passing the UAW format to Brian Keller, because I want to see him kick them bastards in the balls. I, I just want to see it. I'm going to sit here like the referee. It's just some shit you all... The worker order... Uh, they didn't even get anything in the negotiations, if you're not aware. They got the exact same contract, duplicate, reprint, stamped from last contract negotiations. Ain't no changes. Anything that look like a change is just a change in the way the words wrote. It mean the same shit. So, um, for my sisters watching, um, Portia is down right now. Um, she got some kind of issues going on with her computer or internet or something out there where she at. But if, um, it's probably just mama way of sitting her down for a minute too, cause she full throttle like me. So, um, for some of y'all that got her personal number, just periodically check in on her and make sure she good. If y'all don't mind, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, so, we flipped off the red lodge today off the zigzag zig and came up with two probable housing positions for this young lady and to get her situated out of a condition before somebody end up six feet. And she don't need to be in that condition because um, if something happened to her, something gonna happen to a lot of motherfuckers. That's already understood, so. Mama said, hold your peace and let the Lord fight your battle. I ain't really too much into that. It sounds too much like kumbaya to me. But if the shit fucking gonna work, I'm gonna try it. If the shit don't work, I'm gonna do it the other way. Whatever way work. But this shit about to flip. And this shit about to change. So, Brian, you kick these motherfuckers in their corporate balls. You leave a motherfucking gelded when you done. Don't play the worker cheat. There was a brother down here in uh, a working UAW brother down here in uh, Detroit that calculated how you calculate your motherfucking income. He didn't have the whole um, formula. But he had a significant portion for you to understand that by mid-contract, you should have been at $45 an hour when you cap out by mid-contract. Makes sense. It is a historical and verifiable fact that when the auto workers' income increased, the economy experienced what they call an economic boom. Just so y'all know, um, y'all gonna see some drastic economic changes. If you got money, that's fiat. Right now is the best time for you to buy gold, real fucking gold and silver, platinum, precious metals with your money. Because when the fiat crash, the currency is gonna have to resort back to being backed by something. You will have 
protected what you earn in fiat by already having converted it over into the gold standard. Then you can put your gold back in the bank like a regular bank account and you can still use paper just like you've been using money the whole time. The only difference is you won't experience the retardation called inflation. Inflation was a way to steal your money. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Brian, when you need me, message me. Message me on Messenger, and as soon as I get the message, I'm going to respond to you. Anything you think you need to ask to get this motherfucker shit on the road and kick these motherfuckers' testicles all the way up in their stomach around their spleen and their goddamn liver. I want you to give them a good swift kick. I'm going to tell you who the fighters is down there where I was at at 5960. There's only a few of them that I trust and then they ain't going to vouch for none of the sellouts, but there's some sellouts down there like Mac. Don't trust that motherfucker far as you can throw him. McGowan, to he play both sides from the middle. Half a management ass motherfucker, masquerading as a union member. He should have got. He should have went to school, got his motherfucking degree to be a manager, and went in management. And then he even justified in playing manager. So don't trust him. He can't be trusted. He don't know what side of the fence he belonged on. <clears throat> And so, um, being at uh, 8.49, 4 9 is 13, 8 is the queen, 13 being the queen mother, as two queens flipped it off to Brian Keller.